Hello and welcome to episode 20 of Teach Me How. Today I'll be walking you through how to 100% ill on Jedi Grandmaster without taking damage. About time I found if you've been way. following the series up to this point, this will be the first planet that you'll fully complete. So without further delay, let's get into it. The first half of this guide will be less about my input and more about you doing what I do since there are only three enemies to deal with for this first section. I'll chime back in at that point, otherwise follow my example and ensure you get all the scans, echoes, and chests as I do. Every Jedi comes here as a kid, or they did, when there were Jedi. Looks like a way through over there. Now be careful with the ice. something yeah it used to be beautiful the warmth is nice I remember this room master Yoda melted that door to let us into the caves that was the force with that crystal the light passed through it and carried its warmth I bet we can do it too Each path is different, young one. Be mindful of your anger. There's heat coming from those cracks underwater, but it's freezing up here. I can feel it. It's calling to me. We must be close. Jedi I can't pick any type of crystal. It chooses you. Yeah, kind of like you. Just 
a little shake. It'll be okay. Let's hope it holds. Yeah? Let me see. Stronger. It's very Sorry. important that you save at this meditation point, since the game can bug in an area coming up shortly that may force you to need to reload your game. For the three probe droids you'll face, all you need to do is howl and push them twice to trigger their self-destruct. Keep following my example and I'll pop back in shortly. We've got a problem. There are probe droids in the caverns. There's no way they could have put a tracker on us. But I would have said the same about Trilla hijacking your car. Gwyth and I will search the Mantis. Thanks. I'll be back as soon as I've got my crystal. You're vulnerable out there. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Youngling dropped this during her test. She was so scared of failing. Brings back some memories. <laughs> That's it. I can see it's shiny. Through there. I can feel it. We're almost out of here. I promise. CD, don't come any closer. Immediately following this cutscene, you must swim down. If you do not, the game will pull you back up and ice will freeze below you, essentially trapping you and softlocking the game. If this happens, you'll have to exit to the main menu and load back in, which is why saving at the previous meditation point was a must. After you've fixed your saver, head to the meditation point. You're going to acquire the last two skills that you'll need for the strategies used later in the run.
Precision Evade, which will be used during the last split of the run, and Empowered Slow, which you'll need to safely complete a certain section on Zepho. Ensure you rest to recover your force, and then destroy all obstructions in the tunnel ahead as I do. Force pull the first trooper to start the engagement. You'll then pull the next three and attack the last one to clear the area. Immediately move towards the ships, dropping in reinforcements. Grasping pull the first and sprint strike the second. Now head back down the tunnel. You want to allow the troopers to attack you to bring the others further back in, closer to you. You want to handle this? Get the target! Once they're mostly grouped, head back out of the tunnel until you drop out of combat. You'll then want to quickly move back to the troopers and use Saber Throw to defeat them. You'll encounter two KX droids in the next area. The KX droids will be unable to engage you until you've crossed the second tile here. Move just beyond this line and as the KX droid engages, dodge backwards out of the area. You'll then move out, grasping pull the droid off the platform and defeat it. Repeat this process for the second one. Opposition identified. If done properly, none of the remaining droids will activate. Slowly move into the room towards the door on the right. If BD runs for the door, then you're safe. You got this, BD. Don't forget the scan and then move on. Are you all right? No, they spotted me. And that's not all. They're mining Kyber crystals. Captain, prepare for takeoff. Yeah. It's hard to look at these crystals after everything we went through. Get in there, buddy. Got there. For the two troopers in the next area, I suggest grasping pull on the ranged and fighting the melee. Either way, once you've defeated them, pick up the scan and continue on. Ensure you rest and regenerate your force before moving into the next area. You'll want to jump and move to this position as I do and wait for the melee to see you.
Once the melee commander has moved out from behind the other melee, Howling push them all into the water, and then deflect the range trooper. Move to the other side and deal with the heavy trooper before continuing. Now you have to head back to get an essence you were unable to acquire earlier. It's very important that you do not rest or you run the risk of taking unavoidable damage. For this next area, the ideal strategy is to force pull and hack the probe droid and let it kill everything for you. However, if you miss the pull or the droid bugs out, this won't work. So you'll want to do what I do here. Move left once the enemies have gathered at the edge and wait until you drop combat. Once you have dropped combat, grasp and pull the troopers and pull down the KX droid. The KX droid can attack you for a few meters after falling down. Once it stops moving though, you can safely defeat it. If the probe droid bugs, climb up and carefully reattempt your pull. Now move on to get the last item in this area. Full of your emotions, young one. But Master, this is easy. Hmm. As you drop down, wait for the red glow from the rocket trooper, and then follow my path off the ledge. I think I heard something. I'm taking point on this pursuit. Someone else get in here. As you land the wall, climb up three times, then back down once, and then left until you can no longer move. 
angle your camera to the purge trooper and then climb up. Immediately target and use a standard force push to send him over the side, and then grasp and pull the two commanders. As you move into the next area, move right to pull the three enemies in and then circle around and head for the wall. Climb up the wall and deal with the rocket trooper as you see fit. You're lighting up Imperial channels. They're sending everything they've got at you. Are you in Greece safe? We're laying low, but the storm's clearing. We won't have any cover soon. I've sliced through their encryption. I'm scrambling transmissions, but it won't be long before they're restored. Hopefully it'll buy us some time. Thank you. There's stormtroopers everywhere. It'll Ensure you rest and regenerate your force for the next area. Don't let them forget that. Move back towards the meditation point as the enemies move to you. Enemies cannot engage you in this area, so once you're out of combat, deal with them as I do. Now keep moving forward and deal with the last two troopers however you like. Before continuing, follow my example to get the items and exploration at the top of the temple. No, we didn't come all this way to get captured. I'll be there. Jedi meditated here. He returned at points throughout his life to contemplate his many adventures and trials. Get in there, buddy. What's that, BD? You have two ATSTs ahead of you. For the first one, you want to move to and stop where the darkness meets the light here. 
Once you're there, you cannot move, otherwise the ATST will come towards you. However, if you stand still in this position, the ATST will never move, and the second one will never attack you. So deflect blaster shots and push rockets here until it's defeated. Once defeated, move along the right side of the area to avoid the second ATST. Move to this pile of rocks and howling push the ATST to activate it. Then you'll want to move back beyond the arch and deal with the ATST as you deal with the last one. The last thing you need to fully complete Ilum is the last essence, so follow my example to acquire it. As soon as you make it off the last wall run, congratulations, Ilum is 100% and the split is complete. If you enjoyed this episode of Teach Me How, please consider subscribing to the channel and make sure to like the video. Doing that is the best way for you to tell me that you're enjoying the series and it helps the channel out a ton. I'll be releasing new episodes every week, so don't forget to turn on notifications so that you get to see them as soon as they're put out. If you have anything to share or any feedback for the series, please share them in the comment section below. And with that, as always, thank you for watching and thanks for learning.